Hello everyone, this is Yuki. I'm going to talk to you about our food today. First, I'll tell you all the foods that I eat. And that I haven't officially been diagnosed, but we know that I haven't since I was 20. Maybe even longer. I eat pizza rolls, pizza, chicken nuggets, mayonnaise and bologna sandwiches, mustard and bologna sandwiches, Cheez-Its, french fries, grapes, popcorn, potatoes, mac and cheese, cheesy tuna but only without the tuna, breaded chicken sandwiches, ice cream, puff corn, strawberries, cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, mini sweet peppers, tootsie rolls, three musketeers, chicken, fish, ground turkey, spaghetti, lasagna, and Reese cups. I'm trying to find out different ways to help me try more new foods. Now, in case you wonder what it stands for, let me look it up first. It stands for Avoidant Restrictive Food Intake Disorder. It is a fairly new eating disorder. Children with ARFID are extremely selective eaters and sometimes have little interest in eating food. They may eat a limited variety of preferred foods, which can lead to poor growth and poor nutrition. Let's go to WebMD to explain it more. Avoidant, avoidant Restrictive Food Intake Disorder is an eating disorder similar to anorexia. Both conditions involve intense restrictions on the amount of food and types of food you eat. But unlike anorexia, people with ARFID aren't worried about their body image, shape, or size. Most children are afraid of picky eating. But ARFID is different. Someone with ARFID doesn't eat enough calories for bodies to work properly. In kids, this can lead to delayed weight gain and growth. In adults, ARFID can not only cause dangerous weight loss, but it could also keep them from being able to maintain basic body functions. Doctors don't know what causes ARFID. Some, peop some experts believe that people who get it might have extreme sensitivity to taste or texture. They may have had a bad experience with food, like choking or vomiting. That makes them fearful or anxious about food. Most people, people most likely to get ARFID include children that never grow picky eating, people on the autism spectrum, me, and those with ADHD, me, and kids who often, kids who often have anxiety disorders, me. They also may have a greater chance of other psychiatric issues. Me. Some of the physical signs are those of anorexia. They include severe weight loss, lack of appetite, and normal periods, stomach cramps and pain, constipation, trouble concentrating, low iron or thyroid levels, slow heart rate, dizziness or fainting, Feeling cold all the time, dry hair, skin, and nails, fine body hair growth, thinning of hair on the head, muscle weakness, weakened immune system, poor wound healing, cold hands and feet, swollen feet, and people with ARFID may have behavioral or psychological symptoms as well. For example, they need to dress in layers to hide weight loss or stay warm, drastic restriction in the types of amount of food they'll eat. Difficulty eating with others, fear of vomiting or choking. Don't want to know if you have a lack of interest in eating. Avoid food based on things like texture or how it looks or smells. Are very concerned about things that can happen to you while you eat, like choking. Take a lot of nutritional supplements. Use a feeding tube. Only have eating trouble during bouts of anorexia or bulimia. They also check to see if you have very low weight or major weight loss, malnutrition, trouble with daily tasks, and another medical condition or mental disorder that better explains the problem. 
They get treated by doing a personal meal plan by a dietitian, prescription nutritional supplements, speech therapy to help your motor skills for eating, prescription drugs to help your appetite or anxiety, being to a psychiatrist or psychologist to treat other mental health conditions that could affect your ARFID, cognitive behavior therapy to help you with your feelings about food and eating, in some cases, you may need to stay at the hospital for a period of time to help with weight gain or more serious medical needs related to your arthritis. I think that sounds about good. See you, everybody. Peace. Bye.